Hello everyone, hope you are fine. In this video, I would like to show how we can use a special character in order to add information or modify our bash prompt. So, here is my bash prompt. For example, between two brackets, I have the username, arrow bash sign, then the host name, the name of my server, server name. Then I print here the current directory, then the dollar sign. So the first thing I want to show you uh, by using uh, the PS1 like this, the environment variable to show you the syntax used to, to my bash prompt. So between two brackets, I have backslash u to type the username brackets still brackets like this backslash u to print my username u stand for stands for username aruba sign so aruba sign here then backslash h h h stands for host name so the host name is server 2 then back backslash back slash uh, w capital letter to print our my current directory then i have backslash dollar sign to the dollar sign so so backslash dollar sign to show the user prompt dollar sign for the normal user and for root prompt we have this sign so now I want I would like to show you how we can add information to this bash prompt. So, so we can use export to export or modify the uh, environment variable like this ps1 equal double quote. And now before using the special character, I, I would like to show you that we can also using a normal character like this. For example, I want to modify my bash prompt to user like this instead between brackets host name username arrow dollar sign current directory i want to print also user and two point like this so now i have it's very simple and easy i have modified the bash prompt now i want i want to show you how we can add a special character so the first special character i would like so I want to to make it simple and proper I want to put put it between brackets so the first special character I can add it is backslash exclamation mark like this between double quote like this so what's the number 184 so this special character backslash exclamation mark can display or displays the current comment history number this includes all previous comments stored for your username so instead of typing history like this to know the current comment history number how many comments saved in my history list i can directly for every new comment i can know the how many or the number of comments using in the history list so for example cd a new comment so i have 186 comments saved in my history list like this and so on it's incremental incremental so another special character is the slash hash like this and backslash hash like this hash sign shows or display the comment number of the current command shows or displays the comment number of the current comment 
this includes only commands for the active shell for for example here for the all commands saved in the history list and 10 only the commands for the active shell so when i started i start using this shell for example the username is ec2 user so is the 10th command using by the username ec2 minus user so for example if i type cd as you can see it's incremental cd another time okay another special character we can use for example backslash d and backslash d we can or this backslash d displays the day name the month and the day number of the current date for example like this here by using backslash d we print the day the month and the day number so it's it's some day and the, today is the the third of may so by by using backslash d i can print the date by using backslash t i can print or oh, i print the time like this the number of hours, number of minutes, and the number of seconds. Another special character by using backslash s, I can type or display the current shell name. Actually, I'm using the bash shell, so I can verify by typing backslash s. So if I change the shell type by using the, uh, the shell sh, for example, not bash, here backslash s will print or display me the shell but now i'm using the bash so it prints bash to me for example as we we see before slash backslash u for username and backslash h for hostname username ec2 minus user and the host name is server2 another special characters i want to erase this to make it simple i want to leave the the day the date and the time like this and the username so another special character is i can use for example backslash a small w like this and backslash small w displays the full path of the current working directory if i use cd slash var slash mail here i can see the full path to the current working directory another thing for example if i want to use backslash in my bash prompt i can use backslash two times like this to add a backslash to my bash prompt like this it's a small presentation about special characters i'm honestly i'm using internet to search and i find i found a lot a lot of special characters we can also using for example google to to know more or have info more information about changing color for example and so on so that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture.